Welcome to this brief video explaining how to use multi-frame automation to generate a series of regular stairs and landings. First of all we set up the spreadsheet with a number of named variables for the stair length, the length of the landing, the height of the stairs and the width of the stairs. We also choose the number of stories that we want to generate. So I'm going to start out by generating seven stories, then I can click the generate button and in the background you can see the macro runs and automatically generates the geometry for those stairs inside multi-frame. If I go back and I change this to say 11 stories and I change my stair height then I can click generate again and I get more stories at a lower height generated inside multi-frame. So let's take a look at how this works. If we switch over to Visual Basic inside Excel, you can see we have some variables declared at the start. Those variables get set up by going to the workbook and finding the name uh, that we've defined inside our workbook. Then if I scroll down further, you will see we've got some basic Visual Basic code. So we have a loop for the number of stories. And then for each story, we just define the X, Y, and Z locations of the start, the middle, and the end of that particular story. If we're on an odd story it runs from left to right and if we're on an even story we just reflect it about the center so it goes from right to left. And finally the bit that does the work we just call the multi-frame application, it, its frame object, its list of elements and we say to add an element and if we scroll across we just define the XYZ coordinates of the start of the element and the XYZ coordinates of the end of the element. That's all there is to it. It's a simple spreadsheet that uh, really automates what can be a time-consuming task. So let's do a final run then. We'll choose 12 stories at uh, a taller height, generate that, and our geometry is created automatically for us. Thank you very much for watching.